My name is Mikai Kokotani. I participated at 1988 and 92 Olympics as a synchronized swimmer. And I won two bronze medals, which was my dream come true. And I also had an honor to be the flag bearer of the Japanese delegation. And I had such great experience at the Olympics, so I'm thrilled to be the sports director of Tokyo 2020 to be able to support the games and help athletes to make lots of great memories, just like I did. The most important thing is to ensure the safety and security for athletes, technical officials, and staff. And we have been encouraged by and learned from various sporting events which took place not only in Japan, but uh, worldwide under this unprecedented situation. And through our discussions with international federations and uh, event organizers, we are working to establish our safe and secure environment for athletes, like how to run the athlete village, which test should be conducted, how often, and how to respond if an athlete is positive, and so on. And each of these efforts will lead to safe competitions. We also had an international gymnastic competition uh, last November, which was very successful. This spring, we will have test events for Tokyo 2020, and we will accumulate our experiences by testing our countermeasures. We'll continue to modify our approach flexibly until the start of the games. Uh, last December, we put together an uh, interim summary with major directions we should take after a series of discussions with the government of Japan, uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, and all the relevant stakeholders of the Olympics and the Paralympics. And as I said, we will test our countermeasures at test events this spring, and we will finalize our infection prevention measures based on outcome from these test events. And I personally believe it is very important how the athletes and other officials will follow these guidelines, which will be a key to deliver safe games. Ensuring the safety and the security is the first priority. That's for sure. And I do ask myself often, why Olympics and the Paralympics in Tokyo? Why in Japan? Well, 10 years ago, uh, 2011, we had the Great East Earthquake in Japan, as you all know. And at that time, uh, many athletes, including myself, wondered, is this time to do sports? Are we allowed to continue doing sports? But when athletes visited the disaster area to support the local children. They did sports together. And at the end, there were the ones who were encouraged by these local children. They even said, good luck at the Olympics. We'll be watching you, cheering for you. And one year later at the London Games uh, 2012, Japanese team won the largest number of medals of uh, Japanese history at that time because they were motivated by those children. So they went back to the disaster area, showed the medals, shared the excitement, and took pictures together, lots of smile and happiness. And that was when we realized the power of sports. For 2020 bid, uh, we used the word omotenashi, which means uh, Japanese hospitality. So I'd like to welcome all the athletes coming to Tokyo with this omotenashi spirit because they will have to come through such a long and difficult tunnel to make it to Tokyo. So our games will be simplified, but our omotenashi spirit will never be simplified. And at last, again, as stated in our vision, we do believe Sports has the power to change the world and the future.